Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at inductance in graphical form. Here we look at the equation V equals L times di dt. That equates the voltage across an inductor to the inductance and the rate of change that occurs with respect to time. But that equation has the form like the algebra equation y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Now, for a moment, imagine b to be zero. Now we can see that v equals l di dt is like the equation y equals mx, where m is the slope. Since m is the slope here, that then indicates that l would be the slope of this equation. v would be the dependent variable, and di dt would represent the independent variable. So when we draw the graph here, on the vertical axis, we have the voltage across the inductor. On the horizontal axis, we have the rate of change of the current with respect to time. And then when we draw a straight line like this, the slope of this line represents the inductance of the inductor. That represents the relationship between the voltage across the inductor and the rate of change of the current with respect to time through the inductor. Now, if the inductance is large, in other words, if the physical properties of the inductor are such that you have a large inductance, then you would have a slope that looks like this. You would have a steeper slope. So this is a larger inductance. And if you have a smaller inductor with smaller inductance, then the slope would look something like this. In other words, with the rate of change of the current, it would then cause a small change in the voltage, where in this case, a rate of change of the current would create a large voltage across the inductor. So this would be a small inductor or small inductance. And that would then represent a larger inductance. So again, you can see how this simply represents the size of the inductor or the inductance of the inductor relative to the proportion of the change in the current to the voltage across the inductor. And that's how we do that graphically.